Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here to do a random collective reading for you. This reading is for the collective now, so it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Um, please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. Um, no reader ever wants you to try to force the story into your world, okay? Um, yeah, we don't want you to go doing that, right? You'll know if it's for you or not. We're going to start with Oracle cards today. So, um, And um, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board. You guys, you show me so much love and support, man. Thank you so much for everything that you do that helps this channel grow. Thank you. Um, I do want to say, though, right before this reading, I had a hard time getting it started. Um, and then I got this really bad coughing fit, just like out of the blue, okay? Um, so I feel like there's someone out there that really is uh, needs to talk, needs to get something out, you know? Um, round and round situation, yeah, feeling like you're tethered to a pole. I, I feel like you're just sick of it. You're breaking free. Um, you're breaking free from this. Uh, there's a situation that seems like it's going on and on and on and on and on forever, forever for somebody here. Um, it's just like around, around, around. This could be someone who keeps entering into the same old cycle too. Um, but I feel like they're at a crossroads here, whether it's you or your person. Take it how it resonates. Um, I feel like it's you. You're just really sick of being tied to this. It's like you've got this path that, uh, two paths to choose from, right? You're at a fork in the road. That means you can go one direction or another, okay? Um, but somebody has tied you to this pole. It gives me the feeling like when somebody ties a dog outside of a gas station and just leaves it just abandons and drives off and leaves you tied there, right? So I feel like you felt very bound to being stuck at a crossroads. It, round and round and round about this, right? Um, I feel like you're setting yourself free because a llama can't tie a knot, guys, okay? Let's face it. The, a llama does not have opposable thumbs. Therefore, a llama or whatever this thing is, it cannot tie the knot. Somebody tied this thing to this pole, tethered it to a whatever stick, and left. Left it sitting there. That's kind of how you've been feeling. And I think you're just sick of it. I think you're breaking free and, and peeking your head out, you know, um, into the community, right? Out into nature, maybe meeting some new people, maybe even spending some time with your kids, you know, getting yourself unstuck out in the light you know they left you sitting here in a dark space kind of in a limbo i feel like this is like you've been in a limbo okay it's either you or your person take it however it resonates but yeah that's what i'm i'm getting the feeling of it you were in a limbo but you were put there you were put there and then kept there and abandoned there Okay, um, you know, I don't see a water bowl or a food dish or anything like whoever, whoever put you in this situation, then they took off. It's kept you going around and around in your head too, you know? Yeah, like are they coming back? Are they going to come back and free me from this? Like what the crap? But they don't. I feel like you get your own clarity and you're just like, you know what, I'm not staying here anymore. You probably chew through this rope, right? You chew through it <laughs> and you peek your head out into the sun, you know, um, letting this situation come to an end. Yeah, letting this situation come to an end. I feel like this is the death card here. That's done. Completion here with the 10 as well. Um, now, the situation is going to transform as soon as you release this and um, come to the terms of this being over and completed and wanting out of 
feeling like you've been put in a limbo kind of situation, okay? As soon as you decide to end this kind of energy and peek out into the sunlight, I feel like all new um, opportunities, opportunities come, come towards you here. You just start living your life again, okay? Uh, I feel like that's what you want to do. You want to break free. You you want to end the situation. Break free. Peek your head out and start living again. Yeah, all that glitters. Um, I feel like take your mask off and, you know, um, free yourself, right? I feel like... Um, I feel like you're about to get a lot of abundance here as well. Yeah, I think you just need to come out. You need to step out, show yourself. Show yourself, get out of this energy. You know, get out of it. Um, and you're, you're, you've, it's almost like you've been isolated, you know, kind of stuck here, isolated during this time. But during that time, you did a lot of thinking. There wasn't much else to do. They didn't even leave you a bowl of kibble. So, you know, you all you had to do was think. Think, 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 think. And during that time, you grew. You healed. Um, you learned a bunch of lessons on who, to tr who you can trust, who you can't, who's going to keep you tethered to a pole, and, and who won't, right? Um... You've learned a lesson enough to let something end, accepting that this is over, it no longer serves you, so that you can get out here for you, you know. You've learned a lot, and it's put you from the dirt path onto a pedestal. And now you're open to receive all these new blessings that are going to be coming to you. I feel like um, with Observer here, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like somebody is watching you. Um, I really do. I feel like someone's watching you. Or maybe you're just... You could be watching someone too. You guys could be watching, trying to keep track of each other maybe. But I feel like it's somebody who's watched you receive a bunch of abundance already. Okay, look. You're, you're like on top of a mound of all that glitters, right? Um, I feel like there's people in your life who have been wearing a mask. You could have been wearing a mask, but you're, you're coming out now of that. Hiding yourself away, feeling isolated, bound, stuck here, right? You're stepping out. You're sticking your head out in the sun. Um, yeah, and you're open to receive all of this now. All your blessings. Clarify, observer. Because you released something. You released this past thing that kept you stuck here. Thinking about it over and over and over again. Why would they abandon you? Are they coming back to get you? Right? Yeah, thinking, thinking, thinking. I feel like somebody is watching you build a new life. Somebody is watching you do whatever it is you're doing um, that's giving you all of this, uh, all this glitter, all this abundance here. They're watching you, how you healed, what your moves are, how you're building, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I feel very much like somebody's watching you. And this is someone who... Um, you've had this completion with here. We've got another 10. Yeah, what's the central focus here? They're seeing you move forward. They're seeing this, you're, you're releasing it. You're accepting and releasing and surrendering to the fates. That's the central focus. Someone is watching you receive all that you, um, all that you are fated to have. This is stuff that belongs to you. This is uh, whatever it is that you're building, all the blessings that are coming, the building blocks, wherever it is you're going. You could even be building a new home, a new business. Um, they're seeing this. This has all been, this is fated for you. This is your destiny. 
That's what I'm trying to say. This is your destiny. And I feel like people are watching you. Someone here is. I feel like it's the person that, that it's coming to an end with here. I feel like they're watching you glow is what I'm feeling like. They're watching you celebrate your life. They're watching you poised and ready to receive blessings and they know they're coming for you. These are This is whoever it is that abandoned you and tied you to this pole. You know, if you know someone who has those opposable thumbs, it's probably them. All right, so anyway... Yeah, and you're dreaming up, you're manifesting a new love. You're manifesting someone loyal. This is part of your destiny as well. This is, you're doing, you're right on your path, right where you're supposed to be. You really, really, truly are. Uh, you needed to be tethered to this pole to really see people and situations and um, things about yourself or what they truly were so that you could heal from them so that you could move forward, so you could put yourself up on this pedestal and receive all of your blessings. This is all faded. You are, listen, person watching, if you, whoever out there is wondering, am I, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. You are right where you should be on your path. All of this is, is part of your destiny, okay? It's all been faded. And now is the time where you've healed enough. You've grown to be able to accept the situation. Let it come to an end. Release it and open up for your new blessings. And they're coming here. Right now you're in like manifestation stage um, where you're dreaming of like the perfect partner for you. A perfect soulmate connection for you. That doesn't mean it's going to be perfect. That means it's perfect for you, baby. There's a difference. Okay? But this is someone, you want somebody who's going to be loyal. You want that, you want that soulmate connection with someone who's going to um, see eye to eye with you. <coughs> you see what I'm talking about here? <laughs> I feel like some, I keep, somebody wants to talk, but they're not. It could be this person over here that abandoned you I feel like someone abandoned you um, but anyway <clears throat> yeah somebody is trying to talk um, but you're you're dreaming up a new love okay you're manifesting a new love you're thinking of all the um, all the big things the important things that you want in a partner okay we're not talking about well I want him to drive this kind of car and his favorite color needs to be blue no I'm talking about the big things the things that matter like I need this person to be loyal I want loyalty I want honesty I want someone who's gonna have my back I want someone I can work together with and build this empire with together okay um i want someone strong who's going to defend me and will allow me to defend them i want a partnership i want a solid bond i want someone who's not gonna tether me to a pole and abandon me here okay yeah that's what you want and those are the things that as soon as you speak it okay you're manifesting it and that's what you're doing right now you're wanting you're wanting I feel a real love so that you want somebody you want the real deal man who's gonna have your back I mean all you really want is someone you can trust someone who's gonna give you some self or some respect someone who is going to have your back be loyal to you be kind to you um, be your your friend your partner or someone who's gonna be there for you that's not really a whole lot to ask that's what you should have in a healthy relationship that's what you're that's what and you know what here the sad part is you have been emotionally starved you've been emotionally starved like i said there's no kibble no water no nothing they tied you to a pole and they left You've been emotionally starved. So you know what? 
thinking of the normal things that a relationship should be anyway that's healthy that almost feels to you like you're lassoing the moon is going to take a freaking miracle right it's going to take a miracle man i'm really asking for a lot here geez somebody honest someone true oh my gosh how am i ever going to find anyone loyal you know i mean isn't that kind of sad that's what being starved emotionally starved in a round and round and round cycle that's what it does to you it's like ptsd or something okay it's you, all you're asking for is a healthy strong relationship with someone who loves you and someone who isn't going to stab you in the back and leave you abandoned that's all you want and man it's 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 too bad it feels like it feels like you got to imagine up a you know a, a miracle here just I'll, t I'll tell you what, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're destined for. Okay? You're destined for. It's coming. I feel like you really, truly are manifesting someone who's going to be good to you, kind to you, loyal to you, and have your back. Something normal. Right? And real. Right? It's coming. I feel like you, you may think it's going to take a miracle, but... I'll tell you what, it's already been written. It's already been written, and much of these blocks are already in place. You did it yourself. You did the work. So, yeah. Wait for it, right? I'm hearing wait for it. All right. What else can you show me here for the person watching? Yeah, it really sucks. He's, you know, what has become of, of the kind of character of people when it's almost like having something that's real and, and decent seems like you're asking for a freaking miracle. That is the stuff that needs to change, guys. And you know what? It's, it's literally a very honest message, and I'll bet you two to one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a fair amount of hate for it. I'm telling you, it's a spiritual war out there. It's a spiritual battle, man. No lie. Even the readers on here that give such inspiring messages, man, people can't wait to hate. I've got at least two people out there, I think I know exactly who they are, um, that literally will click that unlike button as soon as the video comes on. They don't even watch it. They just hit the unlike. As soon as I post it, bing, bang, I can set my watch to it. And it's just, that's the kind of crap, you know, we're trying to heal that kind of energy so that it doesn't seem like we're, we're asking for miracles when we want someone to treat us with decency. Yeah, because you've been waiting around for a message in a bottle, I feel. Um, and with no information, this person, not only did they tether you to a pole with no kibble, but they put a blindfold you on, uh, on you as well, right? And uh, it, messages in a bottle, they're out there, but it takes forever for them to reach the shore. You'll be waiting and waiting and waiting. And I think you know this. That's why you're manifesting someone decent right? Hoping for a miracle, right? Which is coming. It's coming. Yeah. It may not be with the person that, that you were hoping to hear from who tethered you to this pole, but you're manifesting someone new, and what you want is someone who's going to have your back anyway, okay? Um, yeah, yeah. I feel like um, on this journey to um, while you manifest, while you receive your blessings, one of the blessings you're going to receive is a new soul tribe. I think there's going to come al uh, someone along here that's going to, um, you're going to really resonate with them well, okay? It's going to, they're going to feel like your best buddy. I feel like not only are you getting 
um, you're getting abundance, you're getting new love, but you're also getting a friend after a time of a long period of isolation. Okay? So you're kind of getting a whole new life here. You're getting someone you can heal with. You could heal each other just by being close to each other. This will heal your trust. This will heal your trust and your heart. And this one's going to heal your struggles, financial struggles. Yeah, um, all you had to do was break free, chew, chew, chew through this rope, and pop your head out. That's all you had to do, okay? And you've been working on yourself. You're healing already, okay? So, yeah, you are on the right track. All of this has, like, been pre-written. You are on the right track with your healing, with your decisions here. Um, yeah, with the breaking free of this, uh, all of your decisions that you've been making and rebuilding your life, yes, right? All of this is coming to you. I think you've been worried about your financial struggles, love, and friendships. And I'm telling you, um, it's all falling into place beautifully. Okay, person watching, you're right where you're supposed to be. You are. It's all been faded. Okay? Anywho, listen, this has been your reading for today. Um, I hope this helps. I really do. Just try to remain positive here. It looks like you are. You're standing strong now that you're breaking free from this past energy. Um, honestly, I'm proud of you. You know, I am. Um, it took you a lot. Uh, you, you, you did stay here a long time. I feel like you could have broken free from this before, but you know, um, you, you finally broke free. There's that wise owl. You're, and the owl was like, hey, get out of here, man. You don't belong here, right? Yeah, you broke free from that. So I am very proud of you. You should be proud too. And now you've opened up all kinds of doors. You're going to get everything that you've been thinking about here. Okay, anyway, guys, listen. <laughs> If you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, right? And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.